Viral Nader presents Son of Richard Harrison, disowned for good. Richard Harrison, who plays the old man on Pawn Stars, has made a name for himself as one of Las Vegas' most popular businessmen. When we went to the gold and silver pawn shop and when we watched the show on the History Channel, we fell in love with the owner. After working in the pawn shop business for 40 years, his death in recent years shocked and moved fans and watchers. Fans were stunned when they heard his last words and saw how his family reacted. Getting into real estate Harrison was busy being a recognized cop in his unit and his wife was busy working as a mother. Getting a license to work in real estate, on the other hand, was something she always was interested in. In 1973, three years after getting her license, she was excited to start her own business. When Harrison got out of jail, he joined her and worked part-time at her office. But sadly, the family was about to go through more hard times because of the downturn in real estate that decade. Negotiation Skills If it wasn't clear before, we'll let you know that Harrison was a family man first and foremost. The new and better billionaire was with one of his sons, Rick. He worked hard over the next few years to become the best at sales and product knowledge. His teenage son was there with him to learn as well. A little bit of a lot of things wasn't the only thing they had to be good at, though. They also had to work on the negotiation skills, which quickly became one of the things that made this father-son team so special. A passion for history and making money Rick was very good at business and had a great eye for finding real gems in trash. He got these skills from reading and learning, especially about history. He could only read as a child, so he learned a lot about history, and every day since he was 13, he worked at the pawn shop with his dad and watched the magic happen. He learned every trick in the book. Rick was naturally good at making money and loved history. But when he worked with his dad at the pawn shop, his natural hustler skills came out. Wow, what about a strong, smart kid? An inspiring life story People can learn a lot from Richard Harrison's life story. He's been through a lot of hard times and problems in his life, but his sharp mind, sharp eye, strong drive, and kind heart kept him going. They worked hard to make sure they had everything they could ever want because he loved his family and was devoted to his wife and children. But alas, Harrison would have to face one last task and fight after a long life of exciting events. Losing the Final Battle Teenage Richard Harrison stole cars but now as an adult, he collects beautiful old cars. He turned his life around and tried to live it to the fullest. Because of this, everyone, including family and friends, was very sad when it was found out that the old man had Parkinson's disease. Unfortunately, Harrison lost his fight with cancer and died on June 25, 2018, at the age of 77. He was loved and is remembered by many. Rick wrote on Instagram after his father's death, he lived a very full life and through the history TV show Pawn Stars, touched the lives of people all over, teaching them the value of loving your family, working hard and being funny. We value all the prayers and thoughts that have been sent our way. Please give us some space right now. A change in the will. Everyone was very sad during this time, but what Harrison put in his will and his last wishes still shocked a lot of people. Even though Harrison and Rick worked together every day at the gold and silver pawn shop, Harrison loved all of his boys very much. Harrison wrote his will for the first time, and he named all of his boys and his wife as heirs. But there was a small change in the will in 2017. Chris, his youngest son, was taken off the list of beneficiaries. The Old Man's Official Documented Statement People were confused when they learned that Chris's brothers were not included in the will. The family didn't say why the change happened because they wanted this to stay a family business. On the other hand, they said that this wasn't a surprise and that the whole family knew about it and talked about it. The Blast says Harrison's court document said, I would like to express my love and affection for Christopher Harrison. However, for the purposes of this will, I have intentionally and with full knowledge failed to provide for him and his issue. Surrounded by those he loved the new and changed will named Harrison's wife, children Joseph and Rick as beneficiaries, and Rick would receive the estate. Harrison's reason for changing his will is not clear, but it is clear that the family was there for him until the end. On the day of his death, 
Rick posted a picture on Instagram with the caption, Richard Benjamin, the old man Harrison, passed away this morning, surrounded by those he loved. The legacy will live on. In his Instagram post, Rick also mentioned how much his father had inspired him. He was my hero and I was lucky to have a very cool old man as my dad. That I got to share him with so many others and they got to see what a great family man he was is something I'm grateful to have experienced with him. Harrison's legacy at the Gold and Silver Pawn Shop will live on through his son, Rick, grandson, Corey, and great-grandchildren. Born and raised in Virginia While Richard Benjamin Harrison, the founder of Pawn Stars, spent most of his life in Nevada, he was born and raised on the other side of the country in the small town of Danville, Virginia in 1941. Harrison met the love of his life, Joanne Rue, when he was only 17. Before he became the famous family man and business founder we know today, Harrison was known to get into all kinds of trouble. The Glue That Held It All Together No matter how sad it was for everyone in the store and business, they all knew that the show must go on. Everyone has a job to do, and the new owners have been working hard to make the pawning skills better than ever. Rick, the spotter, has always been the glue that holds this family and business together, and it looks like that's still true today. He joined the team when he was 23 and has been working at the store for 15 years. Producing another show While it's clear that the spotter is meant to be a buy and sell business, Rick has done a few other things on the side. As we already said, he came up with the idea for the show Pawn Stars and has been one of its producers since it started in 2012. He was also the executive producer on one episode of Blood, Sweat and Heels in 2014. That's pretty cool. Other than that, Rick's been pretty focused on the store and the show. Big Hoss It's safe to say that Corey Harrison learned a lot from his grandfather and father who worked in pawn shops and were known as The Old Man and The Spotter. Since he started helping out at the shop when he was nine years old, Corey has developed his own set of skills and is now known as Big Hoss. He's in charge of the business, behind the scenes, and hires the best people to work at Gold and Silver Pawn Shop. I was lucky to be born a Harrison. Every day, Corey thinks about how great it is to be part of the family business and a member of the family. On June 25, 2018, Corey wrote on Twitter, Pops, as he called the old man, was such a great grandfather and loved character by everyone. I was lucky to be born a Harrison and learn so much about life from him. I miss him and will carry him with me forever. Family's grateful for the love everyone is sending them. A brother from another mother When we talk about being part of the Harrison family, there's one person who won their hearts and earned the title of brother from another mother. Corey and Austin, Chum Lee Russell, have been best friends since they were kids, and because he's been to the shop as much as Corey, Austin quickly became one of them. Sometimes Chum Lee, also known as Chum, doesn't make the best business decisions. Such a big part of my life and treated me like family. Austin might as well have been related to the Harrisons, even though he wasn't. Chum Lee learned a lot from the old man and was grateful to have known him so well. On June 25, 2018, Chum Lee wrote on Twitter, It's hard to believe he's gone. He was such a big part of my life and treated me like family. I'll miss him greatly and carry the lessons he taught me throughout my life. Worldwide Success People all over the world knew Richard Old Man Harrison, Rick Harrison, Austin Chumley Russell, and Corey Big Hoss Russell from Pawn Stars. The show was so popular that it was translated into 38 languages and shown in 150 countries. The old man once said that screaming fans surrounded him everywhere he went, which shows how popular Pawn Stars was around the world. The shop is more popular than ever. World famous Gold and Silver Pawn Shop has become very popular because of the show. This has helped the shop's business, but it's also getting in the way of the show's regular business, which is a bad thing. Travis Benton, the manager of the store, says that so many tourists come to see the show that it bothers the real customers who are there, and the shop has to close to customers when the show is filming. Tourist Attraction Seriously, you won't believe how popular the show's become. It's the most popular non-gambling site in Las Vegas. 
There are times when lines of fans run down the street, and the sidewalks are full of tourists who want to catch a glimpse of their favorite TV stars. But the cast is rarely at the shop because their fame has kept them very busy. Nationwide Tours Fans aren't the only ones willing to go to great lengths to see the Las Vegas world-famous Gold and Silver Pawn Shop and meet the show's famous stars. The cast also does it many times a year as part of their nationwide tour. Rick and Corey Harrison give tours all over the country, giving fans VIP experiences, meet and greets, and a first-hand look at their lives. Sign us up! Corey Harrison's Bar Fight other Pawn Stars stars have also been in trouble with the law. In 2011, Corey Big Hoss Harrison got drunk and disorderly at a bar. According to The Hollywood Reporter, Corey got into a fight with another customer and then attacked the police officer and security guard when they arrived. He was jailed for a few hours to get sober and was later released. Mourning the Loss Adam Harrison wasn't shown on the show very often, but he was still a big part of Rick Harrison's family. Sadly, Adam Harrison died in January 2024 of what was thought to be an overdose at the young age of 39. After a few days of silence, Rick Harrison finally wrote a touching post about his son's death. You will always be in my heart. I love you, Adam, it said. It broke the hearts of friends and fans everywhere. Losing money on bad deals we don't know if the show is real, but one of our favorite parts is seeing the cast and customers haggle over the price. It's so much fun to watch. Most of the time, the cast gets a great deal, but sometimes they make bad purchases and get ripped off. Sometimes they even lose money because the things they bought were stolen or fake, and sometimes they don't sell or go to auction. Stolen Goods When you work in the pawn business, it's common for people to bring in stolen goods to get quick cash and get rid of evidence. Along with the stolen coins, Rick Harrison paid $40,000 for a pair of diamond earrings that were later stolen. The thief went to jail and the earrings were returned to their owner, but Rick didn't get his money back. As he said, that's just how the business works. Pawn stars are rarely in the shop. Fans all over the world know how Chum Lee, Corey, Rick, and the old man from Pawn Stars and have wanted to meet them. But if you go to Gold and Silver Pawn Shop, you probably won't run into any of them because they're not there most of the time. Before they became famous, they worked there, but now they have busy schedules and aren't there very often. Every once in a while, they'll come out to meet fans, sign autographs, and take pictures with them. Another star of the show. Fans love Rick, Corey, Chumley, and the old man, but we haven't talked about Olivia Black, who joined the show in season five as a night shift worker. She was fired in 2012 after her nude modeling work from 2008 got out, but she wasn't fired from the shop. She kept working there, but she wasn't on camera when the show was filming. Spin-off shows Pawn Stars has two successful spin-off shows, Rick Dale, an antique restorer and metal artist, and Danny the Count Coker, a mechanic and auto restoration expert, were two of the show's stars and got their shows, American Restoration and Counting Cars. American Restoration ran from 2010 to 2016 and featured Dale and other experts restoring American vintage items to their original state. Looking to the future They've made a name for themselves in the pawn business thanks to the popularity of the show. The Harrison family and the other stars of the show are also very good at what they do. They don't even do it for the money anymore. They do it because they love it. I'm at a point in my life where, if I don't like it, I don't have to do it," Rick Harrison told Las Vegas Now. Here's what tragically happened to American Chopper's Paul Sr. Reality show stars like old man Richard Harrison aren't the only ones who left behind something we admire. Paul Tootful Sr., the founder of Orange County Choppers and the star of the TV show American Choppers, is another man who built a kingdom with just two hands, but Paul's family and friends have turned their backs on him since the accusations against him were proven to be true. If you've watched the video till here, that means you've enjoyed the video. Subscribe! Don't forget to turn on the notifications bell icon.